Megan was supposed to be born when I think in '96. I can tell now. I know you're married. Yeah. So when we went for our first appointment with our gynecologist, with, with my wife, and then they do some tests and they say, "When are you expected?" And they said, "It's, it's third, so third November, and third November is my birthday." We went to the hospital. They checked everything. No, it's not. The baby is not coming out. <laughs> so yes, she's born on November 5th. Two days after, from that day till now, she captured my heart, and she still captures my heart. She's my lovely. Was this uh, really pretty young girl that was moving in at the same time and I think her parents were helping her to move in if I recall and so what I noticed was Jacob was kind of glancing at Megan and I also noticed that Megan was glancing at Jacob now let's call it what it was you know, they were checking each other out <laughs> and so <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we moved you in and everything, and then uh, not too long thereafter, we got a phone call from Jacob, and he told us that he met this incredible lady, incredible young lady, and she said, and you said she was amazing, and she's smart, and she's funny, and she's pretty. We thought, okay, Jacob, how's studies going? Today, Megan and Jake have called you to the beautiful Palm Event Center, a, a venue that melds the past and the present together. It's not just a gorgeous place for a wedding, but it's so fitting. Because after all, that's what a wedding does. It melds the couple's past and their present, their wedding day, to their future. Megan is also one of the most dependable people we know. It doesn't matter if she has an exam or a paper deadline coming up that week. If you say you need her help, she will drop everything and come help you. If she commits to something, she follows through. And that's why we know this is going to be a long, fulfilling, and successful marriage. Dr. Megan Pendia. <laughs> Who has a PhD now makes it so important. <laughs> All right, this is the final thing I had to say. You know I never say this, right? I'm not a fan of these words. I love you, Megan. <laughs> All jokes aside, Jacob is one of the most wonderful, caring, compassionate, kind-hearted people um, that we know, and he's a really incredible brother. Anytime Jacob has talked about Megan or described her or told any sort of story, it's always been with the most adoration and respect for who she is and what she's accomplished. He really has the most respect and love for her and it's really a beautiful thing to witness.
each of you three questions. And if you can, please respond with, I do. Jake, do you embrace Megan as your wife, as your companion, and your best friend for life? I do. Do you pledge to treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect? I do. And do you declare that you, stand, you will stand by her in triumphs and tragedies of life as a faithful and caring husband? I do. Early in your relationship, when you were still undergrads, you were really kids. You were in the dorm, and Jake, you took Megan by the hand, and you started slow dancing in the hallway. No music needed, <laughs> just each other. A moment that neither of you have forgotten. My wish for you as you slow dance into your future is that your love will stay as overwhelming and head over heels as it was then. My wish for you is that your love grows stronger and more powerful as the years pass. My hope for you is that your love takes you to greater heights and greater depths than you can imagine. Tomorrow will look pretty similar to yesterday for you because in truth, your marriage has already begun. But today, I have the pleasure and the privilege of saying that you are officially husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride.